Hello, welcome to the Colorful Creativity Podcast. This is episode 23 and my name is Caroline. You can find me online as Kralali. Twitter, Facebook, Ravelry, Instagram, like everywhere you can think of. And there is a group for this podcast and for the yarn, which is the Colorful Creativity Group on Ravelry. You can find it in the group section there. And there is an Etsy shop, kralaline.etsy.com or colorfulcreativity.nl. And of course, there's the blog with the show notes, blog.kralaline.nl. First of all, very warm welcome to everyone who is returning. Very happy you are back again. And of course, welcome to all new viewers. Very nice of you to check me out. And I hope you like it here and subscribe on YouTube down here. And um, yeah. I think that's all for the introductions. Well, I have a co-host today, as you can see. My co-host is Binks. He wanted to sit on my finished objects, so I guess we will skip that part first and see how long he will be on my finished objects. I will just start with the whips today. I have to tell you, I recorded this episode yesterday and I was really not happy with how it turned out. Uh, there were some big mistakes, I had to do a lot of editing and I didn't want to do that and I thought let's just do a take two. So that's today and I hope I will remember everything and not think oh I already told that and that was yesterday's ep uh, take. We will just see where this goes. So well, whips. Let me start with this one if things lets me. In the yarn bowl is my trace and my trace grew she grew a lot i think and this is actually from four days of knitting i think maybe even two but those were days that i spent in the car because we had the wedding of my friend last weekend uh it was a lot of fun uh, it was like six hours driving there and I can only drive until halfway uh, the highway. <laughs> then it starts to get hills and uh, the, the turns are a bit sharper. Uh, here we only have straight highways and there the highways go like this and this. And if your motion sickness is pretty bad, you get a lot of nauseated uh, hours in a car so I can only drive if the road is straight and about halfway then it stops with being straight highways and I just quit knitting and I look outside and just do that that makes me not not arriving green so to speak so um, this was in a project bag, of course. I didn't take it in the yarn bowl, but I like it out in a yarn bowl when I'm at home. This yarn is made by Bollocus. And it is the Holy colorway. And the yarn itself is Seidenstrasse by Citron. It's the same brand I dye on. It's a 65% merino extra fine and a 35% silk. And I am knitting this on Haya Haya interchangeables. The sharp kind from my set. And this is a size 3.5 millimeter. I think I cast on 116 stitches. And um, yeah, what can I say about that? That wasn't enough for the 120. I didn't dare to do that because I need some space to uh, weave in the end. Um, I think someone is getting comfy and going to sleep on my finished objects. Let me see. That's one. Now see if I can get the other one. Thank you. Managed to get it. Now let's see if the cat will lie down again. 
I think we did it. <laughs> so, finished objects will be there. Um, the pattern, the trace, uh, you already saw that before uh, in a different uh, yarn and, and stuff and I didn't like it. But that was lace yarn and this is just fingering weight and I love it. And it's really nice and soft with the merino and the silk. Uh, it's, uh, I'm, I did a variation with two holes in it and three rows of uh, purling. And that I will do every 25 rows probably. I really like that. Uh, what else is there to say? Let me see. The pattern is by Puck Fossen, a Dutch designer and uh, she does a lot more than designing. She also teaches, etc. And um, there's a summer trace knit along going on. So this is my summer trace. Uh, it's gonna be a cowl, not a, a scarf, like the long one I have from the lace. If you see me doing weird layers on my lap now, you can see her, but I can. See, there she is. And she's gone. Uh, she doesn't like if I pet her a lot. Um, yeah, that's my trace. So she got a lot of attention on... She was lying on the dashboard of the car. I was, of course, the passenger. I do not drive and knit. Actually, I do not drive at all in Germany on the highway because I'm a bit scared of driving. Yeah, so... We had a lot of fun in Germany, but I will talk to you about that later. I have a lot of clips. First, let me take a sip of tea. Oh, my new favorite mug. I think I already showed it to you, but for the new viewers. And it's just true. Very, very true. You are truly fabulous. And that goes out to all of you watching. Absolutely. So that was with number one. Now with number two, my notes are here. And when you go away for four days, you also have a wedding and the Tour de Fleece starts. How many knitting projects would you bring? I'm very curious here. We were driving on Friday, like six, seven hours. We had the wedding on Saturday, we had the day after on Sunday, where we had some spare time to ourselves and uh, had some lunch with our friends. And then on Monday, you drive back for like six, seven hours. How much knitting would you bring? I can tell you how much I brought. It was Trace. It was this one. And it was this one. So three knitting projects. And because the Tour de Fleece started, I also brought my spindle. So I had four things to do. And if that wasn't enough, there was a hell of a lot of acquisitions waiting at my friend's house. Because shipping within Germany is just cheaper. So most of them were, sh were free shipping. Because, well, if you order enough, you get free shipping. So it was... Uh, enough projects but i did work on all of them so i will show you all the projects now in my mina makes bags uh, bags bag the other one is coming later is my pair of geek socks here you can see the progress and i did that all in the car i think last time i showed them to you i was in the purple but I moved it to here because I wanted to see how far I got in the car. So I did four stripes and a little bit in the car. I think that's a reasonable amount. I switched to a trace because it was easier and I can look at the road better so I won't get that sick in the car. Because I had to pay attention on where to pick up the uh, slip stitches etc. And you have to count and make sure they are in the right place and that way i had to look down too much that i got pretty nauseated and i thought no two stripes at uh i think i did two stripes at the drive 
to Germany and two on the drive back. And if you see me pointing that way, that's because Germany is there. Um, we live about a kilometer from the German border. I, I don't know if I told you, but uh, yeah, Germany is like that way and only one kilometer. So very, very close. We go grocery shopping in Germany, for instance, because it's cheaper and the grocery store is just closer. If you drive six hours that way in Germany, it's almost the other end of the country, so that's nice. It's a pity my friend lives so far away. I would love her to live closer, but it makes for great vacations. And I will put in clips afterwards and I will tell you about it. So the yarn I'm using here is Nitpix Felici yarn in the colorway mosaic. Here's the tag. And I am knitting these on my Haya Haya bamboo needles. Because this yarn is so soft that it's a little bit slippery. And uh, after switching to the higher higher sharps, I thought, nope, let me go back to the bamboo because it's a bit more, uh, yeah, it's not as slippery, it's a bit more uh, catchy, structured. It, it just feels better on these needles. And that way I learned to knit with bamboo as well. And they are still in one piece, they, they haven't been broken, which is a new best record for me. So the, the geek socks and um, the designer was already down here because I keep forgetting her name. I think it was Kiwi Perler and Wei S. Leong. That was it. So next project I took is in my Knit and Stitch Picks bag. And if you hear crazy sounds, Binks is washing himself. Yeah, just out of reach of the camera. And he always makes those <laughs> sounds. Pretty loud. If you're eating, that's not the best sound, I must say. Nope, not wanting to come back. So in here are my Crazy Remo socks. And I did about this. I had already removed the marker yesterday after recording, put it up here so I wouldn't forget to move the marker. So I had to ish <laughs> move it back for recording uh, today. Um, as you can see they are almost identical, just almost on the back. Looks like this. They are pulling heavily but that's okay that's how I dyed it and uh, this is the sock blank I am using nice and bright and uh, yeah I'm almost through all the colors I'm starting the purple now and then there will be pink and then it will be red again like I started and I didn't knit on these that much because I forgot my measuring tape and I didn't know when to start to heal. I think I have to knit a lot more because I think I will put in a fish lips kiss heel because that way the yarn probably will uh, be prettier. But I'm not sure yet. I don't want to put in an afterthought heel because I want to keep the patterning going. And a heel flap and gusset, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I just thought I would stop with this knitting this. I knit this part at the wedding, I think, and I just said I have to stop now for the heel, I have to measure it first, I want to be sure, I don't want them to be too big and I have to rip them out again, so, oh well, I just did a little bit and I worked on them. And these are knit on Haya Haya Sharps 2.25 millimeter. Yeah, very interesting, the needles, not. But 
all my needles are higher and higher uh, nowadays, I think. So you probably have seen all of them and the tips, etc. I just love my high highs. What can you do? And it's a plain vanilla sock. That was no pattern at all. Three whips done. Not all done. I also, in this big Mina Mix bag, have my exploration station. I so love this project. Every time I get it out, I, I just think, oh, I have to knit on this. I just have to knit on this because then it's finished and then I can wear it. But, well, there were things more important than knitting on this one. So, it was only a few rows. I am back on the right stitch count, so that problem is fixed. And now it's just straight. Just knitting. And that makes it very, very nice and comfy. Most of my projects at the moment are just straight knitting. But because these are long rows of knitting, that makes it really nice and comfy. But yeah, Tour de Fleece is here, so I'm all also juggling with the spinning part and trying to do that more. Um, yeah, uh, these are also knit on high high sharps. These are four millimeters fixed circulars because I cast these on before I even cut my uh, interchangeable set. But that's okay. Uh, the yarn I'm using is these four and I dyed them all myself on a 100% Merino Ultra Merino Ultra Fine and that just means that it is really really soft that's why I'm looking forward to finishing the shawl because I can wear it then um, it's, it's about a sport weight it's a bit thicker than normal uh, 360 meters per 100 grams and yeah I would just rub it to my face all day if I could. It's just really soft. Um, my exploration station is by Stephen West. Uh, or West Knits. Let me find that beautiful photo of it. And I have to say, I might be knitting this again. Just like I love my doodler and I would love to knit that again. It's just such a great way of, of knitting and after doing the brioche I thought oh it's already over. I want to do more brioche so call it crazy. But the next uh, pattern by Stephen West is already in my mind. Uh, there's a dotted race knit along and I want to join. But later I will tell you a bit more about that, I guess, in the acquisitions. And uh, yeah, on to the last whip, knit and stitch bits bag. I cast on something new and I feel a bit naughty about that. <laughs> I finished quite some projects. Uh, I finished uh, three in the last two weeks. And of course I cast on the trace, but further I didn't do anything. So I thought, yep, yeah, I have a new needle, I have to cast something on. So, in the knit picks straw hand painted yarn, Punky hand painted. Uh, punky it is. As for the colors. Uh, I am knitting a pair of socks. What else would I be knitting? But I just cast these on. I, um, I cast these on on Wednesday. Today's Friday. Uh, I did 72 stitches like the pattern suggested. And then it was way too big, so I ripped it all out and I cast on again yesterday. And now I only have this little piece. It's 64 stitches now and it works way better. You can see my little sheepy. And it's going to be 
a pair of jelly rolls, which is the new pattern by Mara Catherine Briner. The one who also wrote the uh, Rose City Roller socks. So they are going to be shorty socks and I needed two colors so I'm adding this one. This is a Idina Robust Idina. Uh, it's probably something Danish. Yeah, nothing on there, but it says 80% full. So that's something Scandinavian. I thought they would look great together. And I probably will do a mismatched pair of socks. But not sure yet. I will have to see how the first sock will work out with this being color A. And like I said, I have a new needle because these are the Haya Haya interchangeable sock needles. They are really pretty. You can see the join. I'll show you. It's pretty smooth. You don't even see it. <laughs> and there's pink cables, which is really cute. So that is this project. And I think uh, it will have some bonus points because there's pink and teal in here. Or at least I think it's teal. Teal, petrol, kinda. Because these are also for the uh, layer it on knit along for the Geeky Puffin Knit Blouse. Which will be fun. So. The other projects of course are also for that knit along. But these are started, so these will get full points instead of the whips, which get half points. Let me check. That's all my whips. That's all my whips. That's all my whips. So I can finally show you the finished objects because the Bing's bum is somewhere else. And first, I want to show you these. These are my trekkies. Or actually, these are my husband's trekkies. These are a pair of Rose City Rollers for him in, for me, Star Trek colors, like the blue and the orange, uh, which made them Star Trek themed for the bonus points of the layered on knit along. Yay. Um, what can I say? The yarn, the blue with stripes is Traps Fable. The contrast yarn is GB Wolle Sprint, which conveniently is lying here. GB Sprint colorway is 716, but I think it's called Curry. But they don't really have names, they only have the Curry and the uh, invoice you get. So yes, I put them aside so he couldn't wear them. And I could show you them brand new and all ends woven in. And very well behaved immediately did that after casting off so yeah my husband is happy and he can wear them now it's going to be I think about 27 degrees tomorrow or Sunday uh, I don't think he will wear hand knit socks the other um, finished objects I made are uh, the, the grow along cardigan you might remember that from last time I only had to do a little bit of ribbing in the neck part, I believe. Maybe button band? Not sure. But I was almost finished and I just didn't. I wanted to try to finish it and I, I couldn't just before the podcast recording. I thought I will do that easily and I did manage to finish that the weekend. I uh, gifted it already. Interrupt the Sketicus. So, um, yeah, I, w I already gifted it to my friend when I saw her last weekend. Um, she was so thrilled. It was so beautiful. She immediately put it on her son and it fits like a charm. I had some yarn left, so I thought, let me make a hat matching to the cardigan. 
and I did I did make the drops ear flap hat which is also in the next photo I will show you and um, the kid is wearing both of them to fit them she still has to weave in the ends but she would be doing that very soon she said uh, the buttons of course have to come on uh, the other cardigan I made was that stripy co little coffee bean it was perfect as well it's even a little bit bigger so he can wear those two cardigans probably for a year and uh, I will see what I will make next for him but that's after November because first there's a whole lot of selfish knitting for me and um, yeah I will see how I can put this photo in here so you can see it I have to crop it so probably will be blended in here somewhere or maybe over my face but I will just talk a little more about it um, the boy is now six months old and really really cute and uh, we took him out for a walk in the, the Thuringer or Thuringian forest and yeah it was just so much fun over the weekend we uh, had an apartment instead of being at my friends as guests because well with a wedding and a little baby we just guessed there's just too much we will stay in an apartment we'll we'll have peace and quiet to ourselves also and that was a good idea because that way we could leave the wedding at the time we wanted to and not have to stay until the end and yeah it was just perfect we had a perfect space the last house in a row and immediately after that there's a meadow and there were the whole Thuringian forest we had a valley right uh, out of our uh, apartment uh, I will put in a clip at the end or actually it's multiple clips we had a beautiful sunset uh, we were standing in the rain ourselves sunset in front of us rainbow behind us just so beautiful and I will see if I can use the sounds uh, themselves and not put music under because it's so quiet and peaceful you hear only the birds and it was just so good for us. I would just have stayed there for weeks, if not forever. It's just that I don't really like snow, so yeah, summertime there, wintertime here, no snow, or wintertime actually, maybe even in Spain with sun. And just sun all year would be even better for me. But yeah, it was just great we had yeah it, it was so relaxing we even took uh, a sauna uh, treatment in the in the apartment the, the, there was a private sauna there so it was really nice and relaxed yeah i think that was everything i wanted to tell you about the little trip we made uh, maybe I'll tell you more later. I'm not sure. Our cat stayed at my mom's house. And um, they were really, really happy there. And now they are complaining. They haven't seen my mom in a while. So she's coming tomorrow. So I hope then the searching for my mom is over. Because they just run around the house and go meow, meow, meow. Like, where's grandma? Where's grandma? So, well, and my mom at home with the cats on our lap had time to finish my trace. Remember this. <laughs> this is the one I uh, cast on last trace call, trace knit along. And this is not a, uh, a cowl, it's a shawl. I think I managed to do like this bit and that was like 20 grams of yarn so my mom did all this in I think less than six weeks she enjoyed the football the soccer uh, Euro tournament and uh, yeah <laughs> she knit a lot she did make some mistakes where I had to help her 
she managed to uh, forget to do the knit two together and that way there was a yarn over and a knit so the shawl had gone twice as wide so I put in the needle and ripped it all out or we ripped it out together actually because the yarn is a bit sticky and it doesn't really rip out that well but we managed to do so and then she did a cast off with a four millimeter needle and I did a cast on with a six millimeter needle so this side was really really stretchy and this side was uh, like only this but we ripped it out together and I just picked up the stitches a little bit back and then she did the end with a five millimeter needle on a four and a half but it's really nice and stretchy now not sure if I want to close it or just keep it like this. I still have to weave in the ends. She didn't do that for me. Oh well, doesn't matter. She knit it for me and it's a beautiful scarf as you can see. And I'm really looking forward to wearing this in winter time with my dark blue winter coat. I think it will look perfect. And the color is so perfect for me. I have the tag here for yarn. Let me find it. This was all that is left. So she really managed to get it in the end. All the way through. And this is a Dutch Bull Diva yarn. Diva Lace Glitter. In the colorway Stillness. The yarn is 75% fine merino, 20% silk and 5% silver stellina. And 100 gram is about 800 meters. So that's a lot. So I will put this off again because it's a bit too warm, even though it's really nice and soft. It's just perfect. And we did just rows, one row of uh, holes, yarn over knit two together, and one row of uh, purling for a nice effect and that's about every 20 rows so yep I'm pretty much in love with this and I'm very happy I didn't rip it out and I didn't go on with it even though I didn't like knitting on it and I just decided okay just giving this to mom and she she loved it she even cast on the next one I had a ball of lace yarn left and she liked it so she said give it to me um, she even paid for it so <laughs> that's just okay and yeah she's knitting that one now so that's her fourth or her fifth trace she's going to knit she really loves knitting lace yarn apparently but only straight knitting nothing too fancy because yeah I love just the lacy patterns and the, the beautiful leaves you have and those beautiful shawls I love that but my mom she can't read those patterns so she hates it and she just wants to knit easy stuff and not the stuff she has to keep her mind with right finished object done whips done spinning I already mentioned the Tour de Fleece starting. This rubber band is really necessary to keep this box closed. But Miss Leia has a new addiction. Eating rubber bands. So every time I put my box on a table, she gets on the table and eats, tries to eat the rubber band. We have to find out what to do against that. Probably just put it up here. Um, in here is this cute little rainbow spindle the Turkish spindle with the rainbow yarn on it and this is so beautiful I'm not sure if I can do anything with it this is the roving how it looks and I found out today that it is merino and I really love that I think all my yarn or spinning at the moment is merino but that will change soon um, I just love the automatically barber polling effect you get so I think for plying this I will just use a white one 
to keep it because I think otherwise it will become a clown barf or I should do a Navajo ply but I've never really done that successfully so I will just start with a two ply this is the tour of learning so that's fine so this came to me uh, came with me to uh, the weekend I spun a little bit before the wedding started and I spun on the day we had a little bit more time to ourselves that was really fun so I just really love spindle spinning with a Turkish spindle apparently and I'm getting better at it already so you really can see your progress and that is really fun when I came home Monday I thought I would give some attention to my wheel which I did and I have been spinning quite a bit first one is this and on Tuesday there was the craft night at my place um, which was a lot of fun and I thought I would spin also and then my thread kept breaking just kept on breaking and at one point I even lost my end I have no clue where it is I was looking for it and I tore, tore it in some place so I do have a beginning now so I will see what happens but let me see I think this one yeah this one is the one I did on craft night I spun up the rest of the 50 grams I wanted to spin and then I went searching for the other 50 grams which I found and I'm going to put it on this one this was also one evening of uninterrupted spinning for I think an hour or so or an hour and a half and I still have the end that's good so I will continue with this and finish up the whole bowl and then I will do a two ply with well this will be 50 grams hopefully in one bobbin and the other two together are also 50 grams this is also a 100% merino and uh, yeah I just am looking forward to plying for the first time I think a two ply will be enough I, sh I could do a three or a four ply and just split it up even more in more bobbins but I'm afraid to do that the first ply let's just keep it easy and do a two ply so that is the spinning part and now for acquisitions yay there are quite some acquisitions actually um, a bit too much to show you here one by one so I will insert a photo here of the whole box of Unicat I got and um, I uh, ordered that and let it send to my friend because that was just better shipping wise um, Unicat is a yarn that I use for my uh, crochet for the big uh, shawls and I also teach a class for that so the yarn is actually for my classes and for my students and not for me so it's not really stash for me but I can just look at it and uh, sit on it for a little bit until my class is going to be it's probably going to be after summer because the one I had planned before summer vacation just didn't fill up because people are too busy I already noticed that with my uh, craft night it was a very nice and easy night which was fun and, and really great and you get a lot of chance to talk to people uh, a little bit more in depth so that was awesome but you can just see that summer vacation is almost here and uh, well as far as Unicat goes uh, this one for example is one I have to crochet a shawl for a friend with um, it's a four ply lace weight kind of yarn with four loose threads instead of nicely plied yarn here you can see it you can see the front isn't that just beautiful I'm not a pastel kind of person but I do love this one let me put it back this one is more my kind of course that's the full rainbow and I already used that for a big 
shawl. And these two are sold to other people who just wanted to order with me to save on shipping, which is very smart, of course. And um, I will probably be knitting also with these because I saw that you can use it very well for a dotted race. And that will be my next project in my next Stephen West uh, knits. And um, yeah, the dotted race is a beautiful shawl with little holes in it. And I think it's only uh, knitting. So a beautiful garter stitch. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to casting on. There is a knit along going on on Instagram for that, which is beautiful and inspirational. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I just love that. And talking about Instagram, I hit 1000 followers there. So I did a, a really quick 1K giveaway celebration and I gave away these. So if you are on Instagram and you think, oh, I would love to win something, we are going for the 2.5K now. So join, follow and next time, when I hit 2.5k, I will give away something else, of course, but this time it was this, the mint chip yarn and the beautiful sheepy bag, which could not have been won by someone with a better name. It was Sassy Sheep NL, which I think is just hilarious that someone with a sheepy name wins a sheepy bag. It's just perfect. And uh, I think she's also starting a dotted race, uh, so with Unicat. I'm looking forward to seeing those uh, Saskia and this will be shipped soon of course before your vacation. So next acquisition is a really big box full. Let me put some things aside which I will show to you later. I have a big box. Oh, there's some things in here. the books. Turn this around. First, what is first? This will crinkle, it's all wrapped in paper, so happy crinkling. These two MCN base, oh so soft. The high twist version, 360 meters per 100 grams. And this one is falling apart apparently. Let me Right, I will have to see which colors I will dye this. I have one skein of MCN yarn and um, yeah, it's from Riverstone Yarns. It's really, really beautiful. It's called the Happy Koi, I believe. It's a orange with petrol and I wanted to do something pretty with it. I'm thinking a three color cashmere shawl or cowl. So I needed some more cashmere yarn. So I bought these bases. And maybe I will leave one undyed, but I'm not sure what the other one should become. Just very much in doubt how to dye that, in what color and what would match with it. And oh well, we'll see. Oh, paper tearing. So next one is this. And this is a BFL nylon blend and uh, also falling apart. They really twist it loosely together in this skein. It's a bit messy of it. So, for those of you who don't know how to make a skein, you just put your fingers around, you twist it. I also heard someone who did it around the doorknob. So the hole would be bigger and she could twist it even further. But I will always do it like this. See? Nice and tight. I like that. And um, yeah, this is going to be a soft thing. Probably dye it up myself and, and see. I just wanted to feel the blend before buying more of it. And if it would be a nice addition, but I think my own sock yarn and especially my soft sock yarn is also very nice. Then there was this. I have no clue why I ordered it. 
I thought I had ordered another sock weight yarn and well this is a two ply loosely twisted looks more like a hand spun also BFL nylon I believe and um, yeah what can I say in the whole uh, high of ordering fiber and yarn sometimes you just click too much I think I just made a mistake and it will probably become something pretty but I have no clue what I will look into the hand spun projects probably on Ravelry and see what I can make with it. So then there's a whole lot of fleece and it's all undyed. Uh, I'm a bit scared of dyeing it because most of it is not super wash. But we'll see. If I felt it, I felt it and that's okay. Oh, it's starting to rain now and I have my door open. I think it will be okay. It's not that much. So here we have some white face woodland. And some Falkland with tinsel. And this is Superwash Cheviot. I have some sheep, I have no clue what it is. So and this is non superwash Cheviot. This is a Falkland nylon blend. You can see the shimmer of the nylon, I hope. This is a Corridale nylon, highly shiny nylon blend. And then there is a big bag of Falkland, which I was told was the best way to start spinning. So I am going to use that soon after I finish my first braid of Merino. I think I will try to dye that uh, Falkland in between. Sorry for putting this all back, but that makes it easier to put books down and keep the cats happy. I ordered all that stuff at wolschaf.de or daswolschaf.de .de. and um, before I continue with this bag I will close the door because it started to pour. That door is closed. It of course stopped raining like two seconds after I closed the door but that's all right I don't have to get up again and after recording I will just open the door again. Next up was this bag, also printed. And this bag contains a swap I got. Uh, Julia from uh, the General Waste Knits podcast, who is Humbug Watson on Instagram, was destashing de some stuff. And among that was this spindle with fiber. And I said, I want that because I love more spindles. And um, she said she tried it and she really didn't like it, the, the spinning. It just didn't, the bug didn't bite. And uh, yeah, so uh, we decided to swap these. I will just uh, send her a package also soon. Coming up, Julia. Just the aftermath of vacation is always bigger than you think. You have to run, run, run before you go because you want to finish things. And then you are back and you have to do the things you have missed in those few days you were gone. In less time than normal. Like we came back on Monday and Robert had vacation on Tuesday. I already had craft night on Tuesday, so I had to work. And all the other things have to get done in three days instead of five days. Yeah, it's crazy. Not happening. So, um, I think I understand why it didn't bite. Because this spindle is really, really heavy. And that means you can only spin thick yarn, I think. Because thin yarn will break. And uh, I weighed it. And I think it's about 80 grams, this spindle. Without the stuff on it. It was 84. So I think there's only 4 grams on it. 80 sounded quite reasonable. And my other spindles are only like 30 grams, max 35 grams. 
my, my Turkish one is 10 grams. So I think I understand why the bug didn't bite. So with that, she also sent me the fiber. And I know that one of them is Kobura Fox. I think that's the one, this one, more reddish. And the other two, I have no clue. This one is really nice and soft. And it has a longer staple, so maybe a bulwark. I'm not sure. I will have to look that up. It feels a lit, bit, little bit like cotton balls. Uh, like, like, yeah. It's just so soft. And also in here is some dyed yarns in, in earth tones. And I also ordered last year from Wolschaf. I know this is also uh, from Wolf, Das Wolschaf, where I got that whole big box from. Uh, I ordered last year too. And I have spun up this color, but I only did it in a single and I didn't think of splitting it and being able to ply it. So that's nice. Now I can finally spin another bobbin of it and then ply it together. That's just perfect. And then I have from the other colors, I have also everything else twice now and I can do a nice two ply or maybe a four ply in the end, but with two colors, no clue. We'll have to see that. Uh, I, I still have to read how to do a four ply or anything more than a two ply because are you just putting four threads together and then twisting it all the other side or do you have to do a two ply and then the third ply the other way around and then the fourth ply again, so. Newbie spinner. <laughs> so putting that aside, and then I am at the last acquisition. And it's partly acquisition and partly shop update. Because remember I told you I wanted a purple one. I now have a purple one. And it's mine. Sorry, not for sale. I, uh, I only got one purple one. I ordered an empty uh, case. Uh, because I already had such a beautiful needle case uh, in blue, when I have two in blue, I would just not be able to pull the right one out immediately. So in here are my sock needle interchangeables. And look at how slim and tiny and they are. These are so thin. But they are working so nice and I love them. And in the back I have the cables. And I also bought some more tips and some more cables. Here you can see. I folded it so it would fit in my case. I nice and pink. This one is 100 centimeters. Nice for two at a time socks. I'm using the 60 centimeters now, or the 24 inch. So this one is empty. That's for my jelly roll because that's only one sock at a time because you have two colors and it makes it a lot easier to not do that with two at a time. So for the shop, I have the cables and the tips and I have one red empty case. For those of you who want a case but don't want a whole set, and uh, for those of you who want to try the needles first, like the tip and the cable, you can just buy them loose. And after that, if you really love them, you can also buy the set, of course. And yeah, that's it for the shop. I think I still have to do the photography, but I was really, really busy with the wedding. I did all the flowers for my friend's wedding. Uh, flowers in Holland are just better, cheaper, and we drove with a car that was just, the whole back was filled with flowers. There were three buckets like this, and they were filled to the top, and it was just a beautiful sight. Uh, I will put in a photo here of my table full of flowers that were only the flowers we bought at the florist. I then went to my garden and got a whole lot of other stuff out of my garden because we wanted to put that into the bouquet, which I will put in a photo as well. 
and uh, there will be a lot of extra at the end so photos and uh, videos sunset sunrise we woke up at 5 30 a.m every morning because there were no curtains there there was only a very thin like paper uh, curtain you could pull down and um, yeah when the sunshine was there we just woke up out of ourselves like by a rhythm and I just got up I looked out a window I took the camera and I made a little clip and some photos and it was just beautiful uh, after that we just got back to bed and thought we will sleep for another few hours and that was okay so the waking up was not that bad it was just a gift from mother nature so to speak i will also take you for a walk in the thuringer wald and uh, we went for a walk on sunday morning i i can only walk for uh, shorter distances not for miles and miles and miles uh, it was only 500 meters to a natural uh, spring and yeah that was so beautiful but it was like this going down and that's easy so we got there quite okay but then we had to go back uphill <laughs> that was a struggle for people who live in flat country but we managed and it was beautiful and i know i could do it because there were benches and we could sit down along the route after the uphill part because at the uphill part of course 500 meters there were no benches at all but then we leveled and got back to our apartment and then there were three in the like 400 meters there were three benches and the view was just beautiful and uh, i also took a beautiful photo of my lisa's garden shawl there which i will put in also i just loved it there and then there's a photo of me sitting at the nat natural spring and yeah we, we really enjoyed it. It was so relaxing. If you ever have the chance to go to Germany and go to the Thuringian Forest or the Thuringerwald area, it's just amazing. Uh, there's also a lot of glass work being done there. That's how I met my friend. She worked in the glass factory and I went to visit the glass factory. Uh, it's in Lausha. It's also in the middle of the Thuringerwald and um, they have beautiful Christmas ornaments whole year not just at christmas at christmas it's even more beautiful but then there's a lot of snow and it's a bit more difficult to get there i've never been there in uh, in december or actually in winter i think around we were there in september that was the latest and then it was also also freezing at night already so i don't know why i think i i just got my winter coat with me for the evenings because my friend told me and my uh, gloves were in my pockets so i was really happy that that coincidence happened because it was so cold at night and uh, yeah the whole surroundings there just amazing if you want to uh, visit go and do and just relax and enjoy everything in the forest we didn't even have that great weather we just had rain rain sun rain rain sun 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 rain <laughs> it was but it was just amazing if it's so green everywhere i think it's logical that they have a lot of rain so it's just like in the netherlands well with that i guess i will say goodbye and see you again in the in two weeks with episode 24 and um yeah there's also a clip from Laia and also Bink where they uh, yeah they are watching a bird there's a bird sitting on the wall and they were just watching it like this and uh, then I got my camera out and they thought the camera was more interesting so that's a funny part and um, yeah with that I will just say goodbye and see you again in two weeks Bye-bye. Happy knitting.